Wait, 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 I said anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I asked Chris, what are you on top before we go? He said, anything goes. Yeah. So, <laughs> we give him Gloria the time off where she can babysit during this. All right, Chris, you are a councilman? Yes. Yeah. You've been in politics, what, two years now? Two years, yeah, 2012. Your feet wet and something else. How's it going so far? It's been, it's been a, a lot of fun. You know, I've met a lot of people, uh, particularly from Lauderdale County. We've lived in Limestone most of our lives, uh -huh. so we knew a lot of people in Limestone, Athens. But it's been a lot of fun getting out and meeting people. All right, you got three counties now that they've yes. extended these. you got Lauderdale County here, Limestone County, and Lauderdale County seems to be the bigger county. It is, yeah. It's the, it's the largest majority. It's like 48% of the vote. Limestone's 36, and then uh, Madison is 16. <clears throat> so how are you getting the message? I would assume you're well... You're, you're the local favorite here. I hope so. Lauderdale County is where your opponent's from. Right. And he's well known. Yes. How do you combat that? And, you know, it's tough. It's tough. I mean, the thing I've tried to, you know, the, the, the case I've tried to make is if you look at kind of what Lauderdale's experienced, because the number one issue seems to be jobs and job creation. Well, Lauderdale County's really, they yeah, they have. They've lost, just since I've been running, they've lost almost 4,000 jobs. And in, in that same span, Limestone County and Madison have picked up about 3,000. So the case I've and tried to make. adding every day. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, no doubt. We're having, we're having meetings about it, it seems like, every city council. Uh, so the, the pitch I've tried to make is that, you know, I can, I can bring the, the relationships, the, the successful track record of job creation and apply those same principles in Lauderdale and utilize some of the relationships at the state level to, to get the same results there. All right, you, uh, your opponent is uh, well-funded. Very well-funded. How does that affect your attitude with you and the people that are working with the Chris Seibert campaign? I don't think it affects our attitude really at all. I mean, we, you know, it doesn't change what we're doing. Um, it, I, you know, that's been probably the biggest eye-opener for me running a campaign uh, at this level versus city council is just how much money you have to raise. Now, I guess if I were going to pick an opponent, uh, an extremely wealthy physician from a wealthy family <laughs> may not have been the one I chose, but he's been a great guy. It's been a clean race. Uh, he's, you know, he just had the ability to put seventy-five, eighty thousand dollars of his own money in it, and uh, we don't have that. But, uh, but we've still done very well, and there've been a lot of generous people, and we've raised it on the backs, I think, of working-class folks. You know, factory workers, teachers, policemen, firemen, and we're really proud of how much we've done with them. Why do you want to be? A state senator. I mean, you got two kids here, two little boys. Yeah. You coach and everything. And why do you want to go to Montgomery? And if you get elected, what changes can Chris Seibert make? Well, I mean, I think that you mentioned the, my kid. They're ten and six, and uh, that's one of the reasons. I mean, we don't plan on moving. Uh, we, we think this is a great place to live. I had the opportunity to move to other places with my job, and we chose to raise a family here. And I feel like it's important that, uh, that people step up, especially people that have young kids that are vested in the community and have an interest in the future of the community, to step up and do these type things. Now, one thing, uh, you are certainly right on everything you say, but the one thing, and, and with Dr. Melson too, y'all have run an extremely, extremely kind campaign as we know things across the nation how they can go <laughs> yeah. yeah i feel that way i mean he's been uh it speaks well of you too yeah he's been extremely classy and jonathan jonathan uh, berry hill who was in it before the primary i mean it's been very uh you know you don't see that always that's odd to get three I, guys quality good individuals like that i think so too i mean we got we all three got very lucky in having that and uh it's been a clean race and we've allowed been able to stay on good terms you know throughout the campaign and even as jonathan uh, is moving on. He, he's, we've stayed on good terms with him, too. So that's been a positive. What is it you want the viewers and, and the folks that pick us up, even into Lauderdale County, what is it you want them to know about Chris Seibert? Well, like I said, I think the, the number one issue I hear on the campaign trail is, is jobs and job creation and, and, and making sure our schools are funded, making sure our infrastructure is funded. Um, I think the two years on the city council that you mentioned and the, and the track record we've had at, at working with the state, working with different private enterprise to bring those in is the number one key thing I bring to the table that can be done in Lauderdale County as well because they've been hurt so bad Do by the job Do people get loss. the message in Lauderdale County that things are much better here in Limestone County and Madison County than they are there? I think they do, and I think there's, you know, there's a little bit of animosity there that, that, uh, that you know, for whatever reason, the, the job 
jobs have, have gravitated here and you know my thing has been you know I hadn't been tasked as an Athens City Councilman with with creating jobs in Lauderdale County so I, I, I hadn't had that responsibility but I can assure you we have a playbook and a template that's worked and we have a good relationship with the governor's office in the state and those same things will work in Lauderdale County as well. They got the same type of workforce, same education levels, same skill levels, good people, you know, same tax base, all those things. So we can apply those same principles there. But there is probably a little, yeah, there's a little tension over that. What is the one thing, I guess, that you've, uh, is a big difference in running for city council as opposed to running for state senate? Yeah. Well, the, the money has been the biggest thing. How much money you truly, because people told me that, uh, you know, sitting senators told me before I jumped in how much it would cost, and I had a hard time believing it, but I can tell you it's, it's that and then some. That and just the geography. You know, this is almost a, a U.S. congressional district. It's 75 to 80 miles from west, east to west. And uh, you talked about knocking on doors. I mean, you know, who do you pick? It's, it's 135,000 people. Yeah. So trying to figure out well, who, who's really going to make an impact if I knock on their door and narrowing that focus is the big uh, thing. Wrap this thing up, Chris. What's the one thing you want people to know about Chris Cyber? The one thing. Well, I talked about jobs. I mean, I'm, a, I'm I said, we're heavily involved in our church. We're very civic-minded, have been since we've moved back from military service. And I think, uh, you know, we certainly with having a, a young family have an interest in the community moving forward and, and, and that's our focus and will remain our focus is just trying to create a, a, a better environment for our children to be raised in and, and, and continue to make the advances we think our community's made. Is it, uh, last question, 15th, low turnout. How do you get your people out to vote? I, it's tough. It's tough. I mean, uh, that's why we're doing door knocking. That's why we're doing advertising as much as we can. That's why we're, you know, phone calling. Everything you can do because you're right. Vacations, uh, voter app, all those things that that uh, that make it a challenge. We're just we're trying to touch as many people as we can uh, via phone, this you know, media and and uh, and personally. All right, Chris. Well, good luck coming up on the 15th and. Uh... See how it goes. We'll find out that night, I guess. Yes. Tell your mom and dad we said hello. I will. Thank you. All right. Chris Seibert, State Senate District. I mean, District 1. Is it District 1? State Senate? Yeah. 1. Yep. I'll this get it right. One. It's the first time we've had it over this far. Anyway, we'll take a break. <laughs> come right back. Y'all, hang on.